go over some of the images from the worksheet to review. These are the pages from the worksheet for the census that you may get on your exam. Before we begin, I would like you to complete the worksheet and fill it out to your best of your ability first, then proceed with this video. Let's look for the olfactory bulb. The bulb is this bulbous portion here. It is from there that nerve endings dangle into the nasal cavity. Optic nerves will actually be coming in to here. They're both going out to eyeballs. So the optic nerves are the portions here that have been cut. The optic tract is actually leaving the X and going into the brain itself. Those have a combination of some nerves from the right, from the one eye, as well as some nerves from the other eye. So each tract has nerve endings from both eyeballs. The optic chiasma is just the X. Olfactory tracts, those are actually the nerves that are coming back into the brain from the bulb. In this image of the eye, we can see in here would be the posterior chamber. And it is filled with vitreous humor. H depicts the optic disc, otherwise known as the blind spot. I, this little dent, is a part of the retina and it's actually the macula lutea. J is the outer white part that is the sclera. K is the in-between line between the sclera and the retina, which makes it the choroid and L is depicting the retina itself. The portion up here that A is pointing to is our ciliary body. Then B are the little lines that represent suspensory ligaments. And then C is actually the colored part, the front part of our eye, which is the iris. D is the anterior chamber and it is filled with aqueous humor. E is going to be the lens itself and F is the cornea. On the ear diagram we have the auricle or pinna is our outer ear. We have our external auditory canal or tube then we have right here is our tympanic membrane. Then within here are our ossicles, specifically the malleus, because that's what this image is actually pointing to is on the malleus itself. We have down here, this area is known as the vestibule. It's part of the inner ear. These are semicircular canals. This is where our dynamic equilibrium is where the vestibule is more of our linear acceleration type equilibrium. And then we have our cochlea where we hear. Okay, let's go through the features in order that sound waves pass. So we hear something, we have sound waves coming in, causes vibrations of this tympanic membrane. Our ossicles change, we hit that stapes, and then we have our oval window. And then the sound waves are magnified by the ossicles, but then they enter the cochlea and then ultimately turn, activate nerve endings that tell our brain what we've heard. The part of the inner ear, we have our semicircular canals. At the base of each of these canals are little ampulla. The ampulla help determine which direction you're spinning. We have the cochlea here is located here. The vestibule is in here. And that's where we have our utricle and our saccule. 